Yeah, so how are you guys doing? I'll count one to two and I'll say go and you clap once. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two. I'll clap, I'll count one to two and I'll say go and you clap once. Are you ready? Ready? One, two. Yes. I'll count one to two and I will say go and you clap once. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, go. Now what happened the first three times? What happened? Pardon? Was he understanding? This happens every time, all the time. That we are more interested in carrying out the action than following the instruction. Emotions run ahead of the will. Emotions execute. The will analyzes. You need analysis before execution. I celebrate all of you that are trying to become. To become is to get into. It means that there is, there is something somewhere that you need to get into. So it means you put in some what? Effort. 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 I love physics. Newton's first law of motion states that everybody continues in a state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled by external force to act otherwise. Until you understand that law, you will remain exactly where you are. You will not be able to become. To become is to get into, to move. And to move or to motivate is the Latin word motere. Motere is the same for emotions. To move, to motivate, has the same root word in Latin for emotions. So emotions drive people. People drive performance. If you want to perform, what do you look at? You look at the emotions. Look at the emotions. What's happening under here? All, when you are in a uniform state or you are, uh, you are moving in a straight line, there's an emotional movement. It's another frequency of emotion that can move you out of that state. If not, you remain there. All humans are emotional beings. All humans are frequency beings. You have a frequency. Do you know you have a frequency? Huh? If you are not op operating at a certain frequency, you might not be able to get the attention of the person who is operating at that frequency. Like um, Dr. Pe said, I've had several people come and say they want me to be their mentor. And what they are asking is not mentorship. It's who we give them money. They just want who we give them money. People are in a hurry. Going where? Churchill told his driver, slow down. I am in a hurry. Slow down, I'm in a hurry. Do you know why? If you continue at this speed, you will not get there. 
Many of us are just in a hurry. We are just in a hurry. Oh, because you saw what that man did, that man. You need to investigate the backstory of every human being. It's not what you see. The glamour that you see has a backstory. Every day people wake up to celebrate Jesus, isn't it? They wake up and the first thing they say, thank you, Jesus, I'm alive. They pray to him one hour, two hours, ten hours, everywhere. His name is everywhere. The plane wants to crash is Jesus. They are eating Jesus. If they are writing an exam, they can't move forward is Jesus. Everywhere Jesus. Who is this man? Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to know what he passed through. Do you want to know? Do you want to pass through it? No. Your strength is not in a haste. Don't be in a hurry. Slow down. Mentorship. Even me, sometimes I even get confused. So they want a classroom stuff now. I can put you down and say, you know, okay, what are you doing? So okay, stop doing that thing and start doing this one. That's not a mentor. Because of our kind of education, we want people to tell us what to do. Even at work, like architect Uchi said, people cannot take initiative. This place is burning. They will go and call me to say the place is burning. What should they do? Do you understand what I'm saying? There is fire. But you are calling me to ask me, what do I do? You give a laptop to many Nigerian graduates without a power cord. Huh? And they will continue to work until the laptop goes off. Then they will now ask you, I was walking, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Give that same laptop to a five-year-old. The five-year-old will ask you a first question. Where is the charger? See, five years. You know why? We have not beaten out the creative power of the five-year-old. But for the older ones, your creativity, your ingenuity has been beaten out of you. Slapped out. You do, pa, one is out. <laughs> you know, they said many of you believe that we turned out right, isn't it? Our parents dealt with us and they slapped us, they beat us, and that's why we are well. How are you? How are you? The time for teaching was the time to beat us. Look at you. You were so beaten, but you're still trekking. Look at a child that was not beaten. It's manufacturing for you. There is something fundamentally wrong with the way we see human beings. I was, uh, I was in Calabar, and I was walking by the roadside. I met a woman who was hitting a child. I stopped her. I said, Madam, stop it. I will arrest you. She said, what do you mean? It's my child. I said, no. He said, see, the, what, see the, 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 the kind of behaviors. I said, see, this child you are beating here, hmm? do you know why this child will continue to be with you? Or you? Is he being beaten? He said, no. Do you know the difference? That child will become the master of this one. He said, what do you mean? He said, they are telling that child, can you see how that child is being treated? That's not how to treat human beings. So make sure you do the right things and work hard so that nobody treats you like that. We use, we misappropriate our emotions. Once, when it's time to be angry, you're excited. 
like in our country, we should have a lot of appropriate anger. But we're getting excited. I see some of you, if they named your brother one of the senatorial, I mean, um, ministers, what will you be doing now? Hmm? You'll be angry. This guy is a politician. You'll be jubilating. Call a party, isn't it? But why? Is it a teen of excitement? Do you think to be a minister is exciting? Huh? Do you think? It is only in Nigeria they appoint you a minister, you are, you are throwing a party. Do you know the work of a minister? <laughs> now, you are excited because the next thing is you are going to get what? Money. Money. You are going to get a job. See the way we are living. We are living for money and jobs. So if they take away money and take away jobs, you are not living. What is money? What's money to you? A means of exchange. A means of exchange. Money. A thing of value. A thing of value. Value? Who created the value? You, for the services you provide, and how people appreciate the services you provide. Yes. Is it true that human beings gather to give money value? Yes. Huh? Yes. Is it, would it also be true that the same human beings would devalue money? Yes. So how come we are stuck with what human beings created? Do you know that a bottle of Coke outside there is how much? Just under the kiosk there. 120. Do you know how much it is at the Hilton? Huh? 1,000 naira. What's the difference? Hmm? Huh? It's what? The place. And what else? The air conditioner, yes? Huh? The value placed on the environment. Yeah? Do you know that your real value is an emotional thing? Your real value sits in your emotion. It's you that own it. It's not what people say. How many people here have been have have thought of dying? How many people? Yeah. Hi. People are strong here. <laughs> people are strong here. Mm -hmm. Ape, well done. Good job. We gather strong people. Mm. Have you walked, have you struggled to the point that I say, Kai, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? And you just said, look, let me just end it and go. Do you know why we, we have troubles in our society to the extent that it's difficult to manage? Is this reason of fear of being judged? Do you never come out and say, and say, I, am, I feel like dying? They will say, ah, you like this, you, you. How can you be feeling like that? Now, they, they now confuse my emotion. They say, ah, somebody else is telling me why I should be feeling the way I am feeling. I am currently feeling it. The person is challenging. I don't know whether you understand my feeling. We are no longer real. 
We are not vulnerable. We are fake. You ask anybody, how are you? Fine. Fine, 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 everywhere. Fine country. <laughs> but see the troubles. You've got no money. How are you? As I speak to you, I have only a hundred naira and I'm hungry as I'm talking to you. Then I say, okay. Let me, let me add 200 naira to you so that I can eat something. So how would you feel now? Huh? But But if I ask her, she'll say she's what? Then when I'm going to say, look at him, people don't even care for people. People don't care for anybody. Anybody who doesn't ask you for something and you give, you are killing that person. They say he should know now. He should know. He doesn't know. Until you ask, you don't bring out your most important asset. Your most important asset is choice. I chose to ask. Two things can happen when I ask. I get a yes or a and that's fundamental for your development. You know, I'm trying to bring you to a point where you realize that everything that you do today has your hand and your signature on it. Everything. All your success. And even once you call failures, which are part of the success, you have your hand in it. Now, I'll do a short exercise before we continue. Now, you take one person. So let us all stand now. You get one person, one partner. Not the person you know, somebody you don't know. Tutu. Yes. The person you don't know. And if you all know yourselves, then there's a problem. The person you don't know. Are you there? In twos. Move the person from that location. Two of you go to another location separate from where you are right now. Within the hall. You can come and stand here. All right. Are you holding the person? Now, I want you to ask a sincere question, and you're going to take five minutes, 2.5 minutes each, to talk about it. And since you were born, today is your sincere day. <laughs> Since you were born, you became sincere today. So, holding both hands together. Now, ask, you ask yourselves and you answer. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? So you have 2.5 minutes each. 2.5 minutes, the other one switches to the other one. So let's go. How are you feeling? All right. Thank you very much. Now you can take your seats. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Did you enjoy yourself? Who was healed just now? Who has just been healed? Can you raise your hand? Yes. Now, it's about how you feel. Everything in life is about how you feel. And to sincerely feel is a gift. 
Once you have lost your feeling, you have lost your life. Once you no longer feel for humanity, you no longer feel for yourself, you no longer feel for people, you have lost yourself. People are looking for themselves today because they can no longer feel. People suffer, people don't feel. Leadership, leaders do not feel their followers anymore because they think that the followers are just piece of material. Your feeling is very, very important. Let me ask you, you don't need to tell me what you discussed, but how was that session for you? Huh? It was what? It was therapeutic, yes. Don't tell me what you told. You know, the, 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 the subject matter is not as important as what? The effect. So I want to know the effect. Yes. Relaxing. Pardon? A weight has been lifted. Did you express yourself? Who cried? There wasn't enough time to cry. All right, I'm going to give it 10 minutes now so that we can do it again and get some tears. <laughs> but I can tell you, just these five minutes or two and a half minutes you spent expressing yourself sincerely, if you did, has gone a long way to producing oxygen to your mind. Now, I want you to always look at your emotions each time you are having an issue. What am I feeling? What options do I have? How do I move from here? Your emotions tell you, emotions are data, emotions are feedback. They tell you that something is going on. And you see, in this journey of life, when you call it mentorship and leadership, it's about leadership, yourself, leading yourself, leading me before I can lead people. If you cannot lead you, you can't lead anybody. And the first leadership is to manage your emotions. Now, if I'm standing here and I feel like peeing, and I'm standing before you and I don't say, excuse me, I want to go and pee. What would you say about me? Rude, huh? Rude. Rude yes. Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate, yes. Human, okay. Don't, don't, you know, I want you to deal with me as you would deal with somebody who you don't know. You know, don't say he's the speaker. You know, we do those, those things where we sound as victims. <laughs> what can we, is he not the speaker? <laughs> I don't want that. It's, it's, a, it's a, a, a helpless situation. You are not helpless, you have the power. I'm here because you're here, isn't it? Yeah. That's the principle of Ubuntu. I am because you are. So what will you say? I'm going to excuse me, I need to go and pee. Okay. I don't have, I don't have manners. Yeah. You cannot, can you date that kind of man? The man that will be talking before people and will say, excuse me, please, I need to pee. Yes? On serious, yes? Ungroomed. You want that man for a husband? <laughs> Not professional. Good. Do you know we do it all the time? Once you cannot delay gratification. To go and pee. 
is a gratification. True? It's going to relieve me of what? Stress. Eh? But why couldn't my nervous system be so controlled that I will be able to hold down that P until I finish? Your ability to control is your greatest strength. Controlling your emotions. I want to have sex. Hmm? My whole body, hormones everywhere. Then I now go and have sex. Then I now blame the government <laughs> for making Nigeria the way it is. Why did they pay themselves salaries before paying the workers? But I could not manage my own emotions. I could not control. I could not delay. That something is pressing me now doesn't mean I should do it. Huh? No. My ability to control. Do you know, as a lady, if you feel pressed now, and you're going to the toilet to eat yourself, very pressed, then you now meet me on your way. Do you know you can be standing with me for the next 15 minutes, talking to me? What happened? Yeah? What? The mind is what? Distracted. Is it mind is distraction? Okay, let me even, I'm even making it very uh, uh, cultured and organized. You are going to be a woman. You are about, you are wearing a skirt. You just wanted to remove the skirt and do like this. Then you just saw me. <laughs> eh? Will you continue? <laughs> eh? Ha, you are about serious pressure. <laughs> eh? You will continue. Yes. Can I tell you? You will stop. You see? What I'm trying to tell you is this. I mean, this thing I'm telling you, if it happens, okay, okay. Let me bring it home now. This guy you've been loving. Huh? What was he doing there? <laughs> Somebody cannot live his life again. He cannot walk around again. <laughs> eh? Not restroom. On the road. You are going to ask see these people. All this dress they wore today, is it the reason? What I'm trying to tell you is this. You have power to control. Once it becomes critical and it affects what you really value, you control. You're having sex, 10 guests, 15, 20, the 21st girl, and I say, okay, it's okay. Um, just to inform you, I have HIV. <laughs> And see my hand, there are some rashes that are already coming out. <laughs> eh? Will you continue? Why? So, is it, is it true that we actually have power to control? Activate that power. Activate that power. Because it's in the control you succeed. What is power without control? You are so powerful, but you need control for the power to continue to flow when it should flow. If not, you lose power because you have no control. Thank you very much.